This is NDTV. And you're watching NDTV Hindu. Several high profile arrests as the CBI cracks down on housing scams. Senior official of PSU Bank snapped during raids. Metro Water MD comes under the scanner. Madras High Court issues notices, seeks answers as to why humans were found cleaning sewers. And last month, five more deaths were reported in two in Kanjivaram, two, two in uh, Pallavaram, and one more in Annasalai. Family tussle, filmy style. Daughter Vanita now lodges a complaint against her father, actor Vijay Kumar. Singara Chennai gets ready to have its own version of the New York Central Park. Flari delights await you at the Sen Mori Punga. We have designed the Sen Mori Punga as a work of art. Instituting ideas and a landmark to work the grey matter. It certainly was a big debate or rather a battle of the ideas. If technology had really helped, if those Facebook uh, posts had helped, Sarat Babu wouldn't be sitting here at the battle of ideas in Chennai. He'd be sitting in Delhi twiddling his thumb and wondering when parliament is going to reconvene. And meet the artist who can put Sketch My Profile Picture application on Facebook to shame. A very good evening and welcome to Late Night News with me, Ashmit. Let's go straight across to the, to the national headlines. Congress Chief Sonia Gandhi comes to the PM's aid in the 2G saga, says that the Prime Minister is above reproach. Everyone knows that the Prime Minister is 100% above board. It's a resounding mandate for Nitish Kumar. The JDU alliance sweeps the Bihar elections, wins 200 out of the 243 seats. Andhra Pradesh Chief Minister Rosaya resigns. Will Kiran Kumar ready step in as the next Chief Minister? Karnataka Chief Minister's defiance pays off for now. The BJP top brass backtracks on its decision and keeps him in power. And Ratan Tata's PR representative Neera Radia is questioned by the Enforcement Directorate for her firm's alleged role in the 2G case. Now in the big story this evening that has wrestled the attention away from political heavyweights, we are staring at a multi-cross scam, only this time it seems to be emanating from corporate India and not men in white. The CBI has arrested senior officials from major PSU banks and private finance consultants. In what the CBI is claiming to be a multi-cross scam, the officials of major PSU banks had extended large sums of corporate loans in return for bribes. The CBI conducted raids in Mumbai, Delhi, Jaipur and Kolkata. The CBI claims that during the raids, incriminating evidence has been collected against those arrested today. Now, this comes on the back of the massive 1.76 crore 2G spectrum scam that shook the very foundation of even the strongest of political players. Has arrested Chief Executive Officer, LAC Housing Finance Limited, Mumbai, Secretary Investment, LAC Mumbai, General Manager, Bank of India, Director, Chartered Accountant, Central Bank of India, New Delhi, DGM, Punjab National Bank, New Delhi, Chairman and Managing Director, and two other officials of a Mumbai based private financial service company in a bribery case. The CBI has busted a racket wherein a private financial service company, its CMD and associates were allegedly bribing senior officials of public sector banks and financial institutions, facilitating large-scale corporate loans. They were also gathering confidential business information. Now for the interest of our viewers, let's do a quick recap of, again, the big fishes that have been caught by the CBI today. First up, Ram Chandra Nair, the director and CEO of LIC Housing Finance. Uh, he is, of course, uh, again, one of the bigger uh, culprits who was caught today. Next is, of course, Narish K. Chopra, the Secretary of Investment of LIC Mumbai. Now, Arun Tayal, the General Manager of Bank of India, a significant player. There was also caught Maninder Singh, also with the, the Central Bank of India. Again, he's the director there. Uh, then also we have uh, Venkopa Gujal, a Deputy General Manager of the PNB, one of the biggest uh, banks in the country. Rajesh Sharma with the CMD of Money Matters, of course uh, the private uh, player that we have been discussing. Suresh Gatani and Sanjay Sharma also from Money Matters were arrested by the CBI. Now, 
PSU's corporates, CBI and high-profile arrests. This thriller has a thick plot and a dense one of that involving illegal exchanges of funds and favours. Let's take a look at how the culprits manipulated the system to their advantage. That was a quick look at the remand copy of RN Tayal, but to get a better understanding of these culprits and how they operated, we were joined in the studios by our reporter Lokpriya, who told us about again the modus operandi that these guys employed. We have access to almost three remand copies between the uh, senior officials of the PSU and the private sector body. The, pri the prima facie, the contention over here is that the top officials of these private bodies were, uh, uh, of, uh, top officials of the PSUs were in fact uh, helping the middlemen, that is the private bodies, in getting them loans uh, and they received kickbacks. That is the prime contention over there. The, the, the PSUs, in, uh, the officials of the PSU received money from the middlemen and and in fact gave them uh, loans in fraudulent practices and if we can uh, go through one of the uh, re remand copy of one is that the m uh, money matters the company that has been acting as middlemen has in fact uh, uh, received kickbacks has given kickbacks to uh, the general manager of bank of india so th and that and in turn the general manager of bank of india has helped him in get procuring loans that is one modus of operandi the second modus operandi is that the psus have the senior officials of psu has in fact given sensitive information regarding the several corporate sectors to these private bodies so that is the whole modus operandi over here and sources are, sources are also saying as that several corporate players will also be named in this particular scam the LIC was quick to defend itself. It came out very strongly and said that they have adhered to all procedural uh, compilations while uh, giving a loan and they said that all norms were strictly followed and were according to the prescribed norms and no uh, uh, norms were violated while uh, giving the loans. And also very importantly they said that interest of all the stakeholders, partners and various other people who are involved with them will be taken care of and no uh, nothing to worry about. That's the word that is coming in from the LIC. Now another big story tonight, the Madras High Court has summoned water and municipal authorities to explain why they had failed to use machines to clean sewers in the city instead of using people. Now ironically this comes at a time when Chennai and its suburbs have been witnessing big infrastructure development work. Peer Mohammed brings us this report. Two years ago, the Madras High Court ordered the government to ban the use of people to clean sewers after a petition by an activist. But nothing had changed since then which had forced the activists to turn up the heat again on the outdated, inhuman and dangerous method. In 2008, uh, manual scavenging is totally banned in Tamil Nadu. Nobody should enter sewerage manholes and septic tanks. But there, are, there were violations. In 2009, there was a contempt petition filed by me and uh, Honorable High Court uh, formed a 14-member committee to look into various aspects and submit a final report. Till date, the final report has not been submitted. And last month, five more deaths were reported. Narayanan's latest affidavit listed five deaths of sewer cleaners while at work in the past two years. The Madras High Court has now summoned the Managing Director of Chennai Metro Water and the Secretary of the Municipal Administration Department to appear in person to explain why they had failed to replace men with machines. In Chennai, with Peer Mohammed, Jason Tosh for NDTV Hindu. Right now, two chief ministers of the South and two very different stories. We get you both Yedirappa and Rosaya on the other side.